Hey guys, I'm Lena. Welcome to my All Analog Photography channel. Darkroom printing is magic, no doubt, but I'm here in Marley, Switzerland to discover the even bigger magic, the production and coating of black and white photo paper. Today is really special for those of us passionate or curious about darkroom printing as Adox, a German photo manufacturer, is going to coat its very first batch of the legendary poly warm tone paper and I will have Mirka Bodeker, the CEO of Adox, to guide us through the fantastic machine and the factory. So let's go and check it out. Lina, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Here's, this is mine. This is going to be yours and we put genuine silver stains on there so you look really like a professional emotionist. So here we're inside the lab and before we get into the machine, uh, tell us a bit about the factory itself. Where are we? We are in the middle of the oldest building which was erected here uh, by Siva Krohn in the 60s. It has a lot of labs where you can do R&D about photographic emulsions and in the middle of the building is our machine, uh -huh. our coating machine. So the machine is an entire building? Basically the building was built around the machine, yes. That's quite incredible, but it's uh, not the biggest one that exists. It's a research machine, yeah. so it's um, actually the biggest research machine existing in Europe. This machine was actually making samples which then went to the photographers. Dilford made a um, monochrome uh, inkjet paper, uh -huh. they sent it to TIPA and won the TIPA award. And this very paper which they actually shipped to TIPA was coated on our machine. So it was quite close to a production machine, Yeah. Um, but we had to do some additional tweaking. Is it here? So, he's gonna bring it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's gonna bring the black bags that are closed. Yeah. And then we put the emulsion in here, which is quite difficult because when uh -huh. it's not when it's not heated, it's like panna cotta. See. Si. It's, uh, it's quite stiff, so sometimes we have to cut it. Bella, how come did you arrive here and she found me? Isabella, amor, vieni. Disaster. Those are beautiful. Tell us about them. Emulsion is liquefied and changes from panna cotta to uh, milk. So we can pump it. It flows through these lines. Mm -hmm. It flows through the pumps, goes to the filters because we have to take all the dirt which might still be in there out. Uh -huh. And then it's being transported through the heated uh, lines up to the coating head. So it, it runs up and down all the time? When we start the coating process, yes. it's, it's running in a circle. Uh -huh. it, it's coming from the kettle, it's going through the pump, otherwise it wouldn't flow. Then it's being pressed through the filters, so it's filtered. Yeah. Then it goes up to the degassing, where uh -huh. the bubbles are taken out, and it flows back into the kettle. And we keep it running for a certain time to mm -hmm. take all the bubbles out, and then when we're ready, we switch it to the cascade, and we make film. Ah! Or paper. Or paper. Like today. Or um, uh, photographic filters. You know, we make, we make, we make these photo filters. With the very same system. Light resistant. Yeah, it's very same system. Question, how do you clean all of this? So when you're done with the um, emulsion, yeah. you can push a button and then it's just streamed with water and it's cleaning automatically. So of course, if you have an accident, yeah. then it's yeah. a big... I'm not allowed to say f*** up. No. <laughs> it's a big problem. You must never um, have a failure in the temperature control. So this, the emulsion doesn't stiff. If it stiffs in the cascade, yeah. it's a nightmare. A whole cascade has to be taken apart. It happen oh, it happens all the time. Yeah. All right, we're in the room right here and I see a roll of white paper here and something Red in here. What is that? Design. And that's it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the red stuff is warning us this is just leader tape. So this is something we shall not code on. It's in the machine uh -huh. to keep the web in the machine when we stop. Mm -hmm. And then we tape um, the real paper base. We're going to glue it to the red tape. And then the red tape is pulling it up to the cascade. Then the real paper is being coated. We have a very sophisticated gluing uh, thing. Yeah. For example, we don't glue it like this. We glue it, glue it with, a, with a certain angle 
um, be, that helps us when it passes through a narrow gap mm -hmm. that it's not tearing because if this ever yeah. tears for weeks we are repairing the machine again. Wait, did, did that happen to you? As oh well? yeah, it happened uh, when we started um, our experiments. We thought we saved some money and we take some old paper. Yeah. And especially this paper tore and so in the end it was more expensive because we had all this labor of uh, setting up the machine again. That is absolutely crazy. And all of this is called the web. Yes, whatever yeah. is moving, passing the cascade, going through the drying tunnel is called the web. So we're standing next to a really beautiful machine I was forbidden to touch because I have jewelry on. Only like that. Like that, you mean. Yeah. Alright. I assume it is also costly and also impossible to find and the most important one. It's the most the expensive part and it's the most precise part. This is yeah. where the liquids, the emulsion, the milk, so yeah. to speak, is flowing on the cascade and hitting the web and becomes film or photo paper. And you were saying that uh, you can do multiple layers, right? There are six slots, right. but you're not using all of them. In black and white, we usually have two slots of emulsion. Um, just that's also because of the dosing and the limitations of yeah. the process. Then we have a top coat. And with color, we would have to run all six slots uh -huh. and we would have to go two or three times to the machine. So the paper yeah. is going to come out of here, right. taped to the red. Should be taped to the red. Yeah, this is yes. going to be spinning. Then we will push a button and the entire cascade is going to tilt yeah. against the moving web and then the paper is coming and it's still tilting, tilting, tilting and then it's stopping and then the magic starts. The magic starts. Yeah. As soon as you get the magic, yes. your film vanishes and it's gone. Well, yeah. it's not really gone, it's in these boxes. Uh -huh. We blow cold and dry air on the film, mm -hmm. so the surface hardens a little bit, it gets a little bit stiff, and it's not flowing anymore, it's not mm -hmm. coming off the film anymore. So, here comes the film with 30 meters a second. It shoots through the cold and dry air. Okay. Keeps shooting here. Oh, Mamma mia! Uh -huh. Goes on here, it's still freezing. Here it's really cold. It's, it's cold? Yeah, it's getting really cold. It's starting to complain right here. Yes. And then we say, okay, we okay, film, it's fine. Can I open it? No. We're, yes, we're, um, we're starting to heat you back up. Nobody wants to stay cold for long. Okay. So now the, all the stable emulsion on the paper or on the film is coming out over here and what does it do next? We've reached the end of the building, we can't go on, we have to take a turn. And the other reason why you have to do that uh, really is that the web would start, if it's just off a little bit, it would just start going off further and further and further and eventually it would come off your rollers. So what we have here is a swinging cradle, so we can move it and readjust the web so it stays parallel. And here we need another force. We, I mean, we have to pull on the web again, otherwise it, this one would start slipping and not yeah. being capable of transporting the paper anymore. So um, here we have a suction roller where there's a vacuum uh, being applied. Mm -hmm. So it's really sucking on the film or on the paper and moving it again. Right, so it's nice and cozy up here. I love it here. <laughs> we spent weeks here yeah. upgrading this entire dryer mm -hmm. uh, and we installed jet plates inside so we can dry the film more evenly and we don't get any markings or spots or lines or something on the film. And it has to be super long, right? The dryer. This one, yes. the dryer yeah. has to be super yeah. long. Why does because it have to be so to, long? We have to be gently drying the film 
and it has to be dry before we rewind it, that's for sure, otherwise mm -hmm. it would turn into a solid rock. And we have to be gently drying it so we don't get a remelt, so the panna cotta doesn't uh -huh. return to milk. Then and it would just flow off the film and vanish. And we would have all the biggest mess of history in our dryer. Yeah? Did yeah. you have that happen to you? Oh, of course, many times. We are, <laughs> we're super at making errors, <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> That is reassuring because when you work in the darkroom and you have a mistake after a mistake uh, and then you go to a factory where people are actually professionals and do it yeah, at a high level and they still make mistakes and that's the beauty of analog, right? Yes, I mean it's a, it's a chaotic, complex process. Yeah. Anyone who expects um, photo paper to work flawlessly with like any chemicals and under any mm -hmm. uh, circumstances has wrong expectations. It's a, yeah. it's a chemical process and you have to be exact and you have to know what you're doing. And even then you can mess up. You can mess up, but you can also have beautiful results. So there are machines, uh, coating machines and drying machines like this that you can buy, which don't cost like that much, but they're much smaller. What about this one? What is the approximate cost? I think this one was uh, roughly 40 to 50 million francs. 50 uh, million francs. Well, if you did this again from scratch, it costs. It costs. It costs. So you're lucky to have it. We're lucky to have it, yes. <laughs> but, that's but great. we have to maintain it. When you arrive up here, yeah. you're in trouble. Because your wet side of the film mm -hmm. has to be turned uh -huh. and it must not touch a roller. Because if the wet side of the film touches a roller, guess what happens? The emulsion gets scraped off by the roller. So, we have to build this complex suction elbow, it's called. There's a lot of air being sucked from the back side, so that the film is being sucked against these rollers, and you can turn the film without having the front side touching a roller. We have two of them, uh -huh. and you need them every other turn. Yeah. The other turn on the other side you can do with a simple roller, but on this side of the web you need something like this. Otherwise your film would be gone. I'm not going to ask if that happened to you. I, no, I'm that just... never happened. These, these, were, oh. <laughs> these were fine. We quote a lot and sometimes stuff goes wrong because it's a very complex procedure, but obviously it goes wrong just like on a few percentages. I mean, this is a hundred meters long and three tor stories tall and it has thousands of aggregates. And it was built over 40 years. 40 years? Yes, there's stuff here still working which was installed 40 years ago and then there's other stuff which was install installed last week. Mais tu veux pas couler les trois ou bien Ah non, non, non Ah d'accord, merci
So here I am with my freshly coated poly warm tone paper and we are going to Florence together. I'm super excited to try it out and so should be you because I heard that the results with this paper from different developers and toners are really interesting. So we're gonna know about that from the next video. So stay tuned and for now, bye bye. with the poly warm tone paper because I think that I liked it here at the factory and maybe I should go back sooner than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> and we have here... I'm sorry, I couldn't pronounce your name. It, it looks like an entertainment park, I'll be honest. Yes, that's actually the business model we have in mind. Yes? When this <laughs> entire business has failed. That's why you do analog, because it's all done with passion. Yes, yes. exactly. This entire company is a passion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can tell. All right, so what is happening over here? You're standing in the image. I am okay. standing in the image. <laughs> Wait, do we see Aerox? Yeah, perfect. Isabella, no, 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 no. Face up. No, no, amore, amore, be professional. Be professional. This is the super lady who is behind the video, behind uh, making a lot of Adox products, right? Cleaning the machines as well. So, quite a Wonder Woman over here. I met my... Producing, imagine. What did you do? Yeah, I produced it. You produced this emulsion? I have to. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. This, this is a nasty one here. There's blood. There's mine and Francis blood on this corner. This is a nasty one. Mine as well. That's amazing. We still have Elford over here. Can I just draw something? People will fall asleep while watching this.